All right, so setting up uh, to the next cloud on Tronos is a bit tricky. Uh, there are so many guides online and uh, it all depends on the version you have. Uh, but uh, basically I found a very easy way to do it. It doesn't require a lot of steps. It doesn't require messing up with permissions too much. Uh, and it works just as good. So first you're gonna create data set, the data sets. To know which data sets we need, what I do, simple easy way, is go to apps, find the, the app you want to install, it works with everywhere, everything. Click on install. And then you go to the storage part, storage configuration, and you check what uh, what kind of storage they ask. So for the next cloud, we need ap uh, app data storage, and we need user data storage and Postgres data storage. Uh, user data is where uh, your files are stored. Postgres is for the database, and app data for Nextcloud itself, the web app. I guess I'm not sure. All right, so we have three data sets. What I generally do is I have uh, this parent data set. I just create another data set inside of it. Since I already installed it, I will just create a new one just for the, the sake of this video. Let's call it next cloud test. For you, you can just call it next cloud. For a preset, just use apps. Why I use apps and not generic? Uh, because if you use generic or use uh, something else, you have to manually set the permissions yourself and you, they have to be exactly the same as uh, Nextcloud expected. So I just uh, use apps and then and let the let the app fix the permission for me. So let's create Nextcloud test. As we saw, there is three data sets we need. Let's create uh, three nested data sets inside of it. The first one is app data, also apps. Ah, wait, sorry. Before that, we need to set one more permission in this. We click go to permissions, edit. The owner must be admin, your admin user. I think it works with root, but uh, I didn't try it, so let's go with admin. Apply owner, apply group. And then we need to add two more users. The first one is not data. And we need to give it full control. The second one is WW data. Full control also. We, we don't need to do to check this, so just save. Alright, now we create the first data set data set its app data. Let's set it to apps. We don't need to mess with the ACL. Alright, the second one is user data apps. And the third one is Postgres data. Apps also. Now we can go ahead and install the next cloud. I'm just gonna stop this one and install a new instance. Let's have uh, the username and password. Leave everything by default. Mm, then choose the certificate, true and not certificates. And in the storage, 
we're gonna choose our data set so change the type to hotspot and browse for your data set it's uh, this is up up data so you choose up data now the user data same thing hotspot and we choose the user data and postgres same thing There is also one more uh, uh, data set to add if you want, it's a backup for me, I'm not gonna use it so I'll just leave it by default because I'm gonna back it up anyway in uh, another server, so I don't need it. Alright, this should be enough, let's try to install it. It's gonna take some time. What you can do, a quick tip for any app it works, you can check the logs to find which, uh, if you have any error, permission error or anything. So in this case, we have four containers. It has Nextcloud, Nginx, Postgres and Redis. You can go to view logs, choose. So this one doesn't have any error, should be good. Let's check the other ones. Same thing with this. Same for this. Oh, it's the same thing. So it should work fine, I guess. All right, now it's running. It can take some time, maybe two, three minutes, depending on your CPU. So be patient a little bit. Now let's run it. Let's connect with our username and password. Alright, so you can see we already have some files here. You can go to files. And you already got uh, some templates and some documents to try. And you, you can upload some files if you want. Uh, one thing to note is that if you try to open, let's say, this file, no, not this file, the PDF works. If you try to open a document, yeah, like this, it will download it instead of opening it. Uh, the reason is because by default it acts just as a drive but doesn't open uh, special documents. So to do that, we need to set up Collabora. It's an app that will uh, open, uh, let you open and uh, edit documents directly from Nextcloud. Uh, this is easy to set up, so let's go back to Tronos. I already have it running here, so I'm just gonna stop it. And run a new instance. So Collabora. This one. Basically, you don't need to do anything. Ah, yeah, there is a username of and password. Uh, basically, everything else should be left by default. Choose the certificate if you want, and hit install. Alright, it's already running, so let's open it here. We just need to copy this URL, remove this, and then we go to apps, and then we go to office and text, and uh, we search for an app called Nextcloud Office. Uh, where is it? Yeah, this one, Nextcloud Office. Download and enable. And then we go to administration settings. We find text cloud office here. And then by default it's this option. We choose to use your own server and we paste the URL we copied of Collabora. Disable uh, we check this to not check the certificate and you can see that it's online. We save. Let's go back to the document now. Uh, yeah, maybe this one. Okay, 
okay now it's working it opened it directly inside Collabora I mean inside Nextcloud and you can edit it like uh, it was uh, LibreOffice or something and you can edit, edit it directly like and share if you made it this far see you in the next video